hi in this video we are going to learn how to upload files so we are going to use monitor for this because express is doesn't have functionality to to do so but the uh, monitor is created by the same developer of express.js so we are going to install it using npmi monitor in the meantime, we are going to go to our index.js and see how can we do this. So first we are going to acquire multi from requiring from multi. And uh, for this, we are going to create a new instance, let's say upload of multi. So in here, in this parenthesis, we are going to configure the multi instance. So that is called dest field which is used for uh, destination to where the files to be stored. So this is the dest field. There is uh, many more another field that we are going to discuss later. So in here if we save it right now, it will create a folder and say upload. So let's say what can we do with this. Now if we just use app.post request because we are going to send a file or a image to see what can be done. Now if we just asynchronous process we are going to use request and response and just send something like response.send. Now uh, this is used to be used to as a middleware. So we are going to use multi as a middleware so that the instance that we have created upload dot single and in here we can give any string so any string that you want uh, i'm going to give upload and now i'm going to just save it and go to our postman and in here we are going to select some file i have created localhost 3000 upload and in the body we have we are going to select form data because it's not a raw json file it's a file so we are going to use a, a form data and in the key the same file the same name we are going to give that is upload that we have given in here now in select files we are going to save one file and one file that's called egg now if we go send it and now we go to our project we are going to see there is some random string and uh, the VS code cannot fetch what is uh, what it is because it's uh, not uh, it's not given extension so let's say we are going to give some extension dot jpg and we can get uh, the image now we are not going to save it like this because if we are going to save it in our project it will become more bulkier and also whenever we save it into a deployment and deploy it it always get clear out so it will be all the information will be deleted so it's not a good practice now there is some validation required because if the there is two gigabyte or three gigabyte file is going to get uploaded in the project it will become very bad so for this there is called a limit and in limit there is file size in file size it is if we require like one megabyte file so we are going to give one and six zeros And so if we save it and now if we go to our postman and uh, delete this file and save like this file which is 3 megabit bytes now if we send this file we're going to get error but this error that we get file too large 
Now we can see that this error is not a JSON format. So in the in the next few minutes, we are going to set how can we set the uh, uh, JSON error here. So now there is one call limits, and there is also one field that is called file filter. Uh, we can go to our uh, multi documentation and uh, we can see there is one that is file filter so in file filter it's a function so in here we are just uh, going to get the request and there is second argument that is filed and it's a callback function and let's say we are going to use cb for this so in here if uh, the file is not correct for the user so we are going to give error because cb first argument is error so let's say that uh, that the file that we want is a pdf so if it is not pdf so we can give error message through this like new error error will be file format is incorrect so if the file that we are getting is correct so it will not be an error so we are going to give first argument undefined and we are going to upload this that we are going to accept this file so we are going to use true and if we are not accepting this file then we are going to give this false now what we require so in here first thing that we require is what's the file that we are getting so what is the file that we are getting so we can get from this console.log we are going to see what it is console.log file and in file there is some another fields that are field name original name that is the file information so we are going to use original name so it will give the full name of it so this is it so now if we are going to just comment out this thing. and now we are going to save it and we are going to give a file that is less than uh, let's say this is an egg and we are going to save it yeah it will give the egg.jpg so this is what we want if it is so we are going to use file.original name so we are going to use the if statement in here so if file dot original name dot ends with what dot jpg then it is correct so we are going to just if not it is if not then we are going to return it from here or else we are going to use callback and define true now if we save it and now again we upload it it will be saved and if we just uh, use some another file let's see in documents i'm going to give another file let's say this one and save it it will give an error file format is incorrect now we can see that uh, the error that we are getting is not a JSON format. So in for the changing into a JSON format, after the post request or a route handler, we here two things are given. There is one called request error request response and same thing as next now in here it will be run whenever there is some error 
because the error that we are getting from here it's not uh, an as a JSON format so from here that we are getting we can get an actual type of JSON format message so let's respond to the status of 404 and send a message like error error dot message now if we save it and I can send this back we can get a format of JSON error message right now this is just a demo so we are going to use this multer into our uploading an image for the user so for now let's delete these files and now we are going to go to our user router and in here we are going to use this multer so we are going to use again the multer here and we are going to require it from the multer and we are going to write the same thing that we have written in the index.js so we are going to create an avatar instance of the multer and here we are going to keep the destination but uh, there is one thing that we have not haven't talked about like in this if if there is destination we cannot go further from here to this route this function cannot be used after this if there is destination uh, folder is there or destination field is there so because of that so because of this we are going to not use destination field here just we are going to use limits and the limits uh, of file size will be let's say 1 MB so 60 is re required here yeah it is now there is file filter in file filter that we have already seen and there is a request file and callback function is there so we are going to require this here after this and here uh, if if not file dot original name original name dot match so here we are going to use the regular expression here so if it is a jpg png or jpz so this all are going to be used circulate here as a regular expression so for this we are going to write like this first we are going to give two slashes here and in between the two slashes we are going to write the regular expression so for writing regular express first you have to write like this and then this is the thing that we are because the dot is a special character so that's why this back space is required here and here what are the uh, things that we are uh, word that are required like jpg and again or par and then png and if it is like save like this jpg or png or jpg or jpg now that's sufficient for now and dollar sign because this says that uh, these words are at the last so yeah if it is not uh, of this format then we are going to 
callback callback new error and in the error that we are going to make this is not a correct format the file and we are going to return from here and if it is a correct format then we are going to use callback error undefined and true because because we are accepting the file now we are going to create a new uh, handler router dot post slash users slash me slash avatar and we are not using uh, we are going to use avatar dot single and just the same avatar and now we can use asynchronous because now we are not giving the um, destination field in here so this is fine for now and for error handling we are just going to give error request response next and response back to status status of 404 dot send error of error now if we are using this functionality then we are going to use also authentication here so before avatar for before using multi we are going to out this functionality and here if there is quest dot user dot avatar is equal we haven't made this field in the user folder but i'm going to make it so request dot user dot first we have to like make it also like yeah so in the user dot js after token uh, we require one more field that's called avatar and avatar type is buffer and once more like uh, if you are uh, creating this file there is one more thing required that is timestamps true and it is not required so yeah so in here the request of user dot avatar it will be filled with request dot file dot dot buffer buffer and we are going to save it so await request dot user dot save yeah these things are required now in this there is called if there is a request dot file and it's going to change to a buffer and it will be saved in the avatar field now if we just save it and go to our this folder or just say post local host and in here we are going to upload the file no no this one not just a sec so in here we are going to upload the profile image now if we just save the file and uh, upload this file uh, we are going to see that we get a bunch of buffer the avatar field is filled with this 
yeah this is the binary and we, if we go to our mongodb and in here we are going to see that the, there is a binary field now how it will how it will look like so from here we are just going to grab it and go to down and just copy it and in here we are just going to go to the called js pin we are going to see what the file is here is here so we are going to save image source and in here we are going to write like this data dot jpg or first image slash jpg semicolon base 64 it is a base 64 and we are going to remove it and yeah you can see that the file we get here so if we just get this file get this binary something and uh, we just use data dot in this strings we can get the image so that's how we can serve up the file but there is also some we can get we can get through how we can do this so we are going to use router dot get uh, users me or any id we can get so avatar and there is no need for auth here and just we are going to use old asynchronous asynchronous request response in here and uh, we are going to just grab the user from here request user and uh, await users dot find by id how request dot params dot id and if there is no user not user or not user dot avatar we are going to return or throw throw new error so it will be in a try catch block we are just setting the try catch block no required from error message so just we are going to copy it from here and paste in here if it is correct then we are going to do something like response dot set because it it is not a json file or format so express can do automatically for the json format but uh, we for this we are going to set it here response dot set the content type the content type that we are getting the type that we are getting is image slash jpg and now we can send response dot send user dot avatar Now, if we go to our postman and we are going to change like uh, what's the requirement, the ID is required here. So just we are going to grab this ID and just paste in here. 
just send it oh the error is here oh just okay. it is will be a get request yeah now if we send we get some something but if we uh, just copy here and go to our browser and paste in here you can get the file so this is how we can serve up the file and get the file so yeah thank you